Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a photo of someone into a stone statue. This document is 1886 by 1220 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. So you can follow along, I provided this photo for the background and this stone texture. These files, as well as this figure, can be downloaded from the links in the video's description or project files. The first step is to separate your figure from its background by creating a selection around the figure. There are many ways to make selections and I covered them in most of my other tutorials. You'll get the best ultimate results from images who aren't wearing stark contrasts of clothing. In this example, I lighten the top of the pants of this figure. Color doesn't matter since we're going to remove it. Press Control shift u on a PC or Command shift u on a Mac to desaturate it. Press V to open your Move tool and drag it up onto the tab of the background. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the background and then release. To reposition it, click inside the figure and move it. Click off the eyeball of the background to hide it. We're going to use the figure to displace the stone texture so it will wrap around the contours of the figure. To do this, go to Layer and Duplicate Layer. Click on the arrow and choose New. Type in Displacement and either click on OK or press Enter or Return. Close the document by clicking on the small X at the right side of its tab and then click Yes to save it. I'll save it on my desktop, click Save, and click OK. Make the background visible and open the stone texture file I provided. Press Ctrl or Command A to select it and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Click on the tab of your background and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the texture into it. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. We'll displace the horizontal and vertical scales by 5. Choose Stretch to Fit and Repeat Edge Pixels. Click on Displacement and Open. Immediately, you'll notice a subtle but important shift in the texture, which will become apparent shortly. Go to the figure and control click it on a PC or command click it on a Mac to make a selection of its shape. Click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer, which is the texture. Click on the texture and change the Blend Mode to Multiply. Let's brighten our stone statue by opening the Levels window. Press Ctrl or Command L. Slide the right input level to where the black begins. Make the figure active and make it brighter as well. Notice how the displacement map made the texture wrap around the contours of the figure. The statue looks great as is, but I'd like to enhance the shadows a bit more since the light in the background is bright and sunny. I'll make the texture active and open my brush tool. I'll choose a brush size of 45 pixels and a hardness of 0%. The blend mode is multiply and the opacity is 40%. I'll brush over areas of the statue that are on the underside of the form and angled away from the sun. To make the brush tip larger, press on the right bracket key. The last step is to make the background blurrier as it recedes in the distance to simulate the effect of a camera's depth of field. Make the background active and make a copy of it. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 3.5 pixels. Click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask next to the blurry background. Open your Gradient tool and make sure the linear gradient is highlighted. Click on the Gradient thumbnail and choose the third preset on the left. This is the black to white gradient. Press and hold Shift as you click on the bottom of the document. Drag up to approximately where the building begins. 
This makes a layer mask that gradually reveals the focused background underneath the blurry background. The ground is in focus at the bottom and gradually becomes blurry as it gets closer to the building. If you want to slide your statue over, make the texture active and shift click on the figure under it. This highlights both layers. Open your move tool and press shift as you slide it over. Have fun transforming someone or something into a stone statue. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.